reaction to the performance today? We're obviously pleased when you win a game of football. It was important we won that game of football. Um, we've been 1-0 up at half-time on numerous occasions this season. Um, so it was important we, we saw it through, so to speak. Um, I thought it was a good performance. First half we played some excellent football. Um, and probably might have been a little bit unlucky only to go in 1-0 up. Um, but the game was there second half and it was pretty even for large parts. Uh, Johnny's made a couple of saves, the defenders have put bodies on the line. You've got to do that side of it to win games of football. Um, but I can't fault any, anything in terms of the attitude and, and de the endeavour of the group today. You know, Fisher's come on and made a difference, Nigel has come on and made a difference. Um, Forest Green are a good team, they were top of the league for a reason. Um, and that's two good teams who hopefully will be close to it come the end of the season, going, going head to head. Still early days, but it's important we beat teams in around us. Is that one of the most pleasing things today, that Forest Green, you know, they can create chances, a really good side, but you've limited them with the hard work? Yeah, limited, both, both teams probably limited chances throughout. Um, I felt we were on top on, our, on the front foot first half. They're a possession team, use the ball really well and, and move you around. Um, so in terms of the way they play, we had to be so sure and, and, and concentrated in our, our minds um, and then invite them into certain areas of the pitch. I felt we actually we got stronger defensively as the game went on. You know, Jack Sparks had probably a, a difficult first half of the game against a, a mobile wing back, but his heading ability and his defensive attributes in the second half got him through that game and, and that's learning how to win games of football for, for an eighteen year old lad and that's really impressive. So I'm delighted for Jack. Delighted for the rest of the bunch. Um, like I say, clean sheet was important for not just for Johnny but for the whole group um, and three important points. Um, there was a, a big moment in the second half where the ball got crossed uh, um, into, into the box and Aaron Collins had a header. Superb save from Johnny Maxter, wasn't it? Yeah, that's what he's there to do. Um, he's, he's made those saves time and time again since he came to this club. Um, so we can't just talk about, about Johnny. He'll, he'll make those saves in his time. Um, and Lewis has made those saves so far this season. So that's part of winning any game of football. You need a little bit of luck. Um, I actually felt we were on the, the, the receiving end of a couple of questionable decisions, certainly in the first period where we sort of pinched it high up the pitch and then the the referee took an easy option in terms of giving a free kick against us. So some frustrations from that part of it, um, but the players have to take huge credit. They've got to wash themselves down. Um, we're going to look after them Sunday, Monday this week, because um, next week we've got a hell of a week, a lot of travelling, and then obviously the, the derby to finish it. Um, we're only taking one game at a time, and that is a, a long distance to Cambridge. Um, just finally, 5-3 uh, inside St James's Park. Um, this afternoon um, with about 400 uh, travelling fans, that's superb support from the home. Brilliant, course. brilliant, and, and they kept us going, they really did. Um, it's so important, our, our home form, you know, our away form, we are a strong team away from home because teams have to come on to us. Our home form, it's, it's the hardest thing to do to break teams down when they're sat in a certain shape, but we were relentless in that first half um, and the fans were the same today. Um, great numbers and, and that's probably with a little bit of forest, help from Forest Green because it's, it's not local but it's, it's close enough for them to make the journey on the day. Um, and lots to look forward to.